Hi, uh, this is James Mart. Um, I got a couple questions from people on how to uh, get started with the CLSDK if you're writing EOS smart contracts. Um, so I will take this opportunity to show off a tool that I am using to write EOS smart contracts and hopefully people can find value out of it. But it should be super easy and you can do it on any platform, Windows, Mac, whatever. Um, so yeah, to get started, just have Visual Studio Code installed and Git um, on your dev machine. Um, you need one extension in Visual Studio Code and that is this remote containers extension by Microsoft. So install that. Um, then uh, if you go to um, this GitHub repo, EOS Power Network, VS Code, new EOS contract. Um, I'll leave the link somewhere. Um, just clone this. So I'll sh I'm just gonna do a demo here of how easy it is. So I will make a new directory called test EOS contract. Um, okay, so I just cloned that repository, open it in Visual Studio Code. As long as you have that inst extension installed, then when you open that new uh, repo you just cloned, VS Code will prompt you to reopen this in a container. So do that, click reopen in container. Um, now a Docker container is starting that has the whole environment set up with CLSDK and everything. Um, this will take longer for you than it does for me because uh, it'll be pulling the images and stuff for the first time from, from Docker Hub. Um, or actually, it might be building a local Docker file. Anyway, it'll take longer for you. Um, so it's also what, so actually I think it's done already for me. Yeah, it's, it's finished. So that, <laughs> that's literally how quickly you can get a new smart contract, um, an EOS smart contract. So this is just a, a skeleton of like a simple EOS smart contract here. Um, but you can see at the bottom of the IDE here, there's some buttons. This will be there for you as well. Um, for build, build and test, test or test a particular suite. The testing is referring to unit testing here. But I can show you that if I click build, it can build the contract. There you go. It can run some unit tests. There's some uh, default unit tests written here that you can take a look at. Um, and you can, uh, yeah, you could just run a, a, a specific test suite if you have test suites. So it looks like there's a test suite called test here. I'll just run that to demo it. There you go. Um, and yeah, you can take a look at the whole skeleton here to see how the smart contract is put together. It's a, because it's using the CLSDK and not the, the, C, the CDT by B1, you'll notice some differences in how the smart contract is constructed. So you won't see those Clang attributes, for example, before action names. Um, you'll see these macros. <clears throat> the CLSDK and these macros and all this is maintained by the GoFractally team. They released this. So this tool that I made, the, um, the repo that you can uh, download and, and uh, use to open a new ES smart contract, <clears throat> that's building on top of all of their work. Um, so thank you to the GoFractally team. Uh, there's a lot to explore here. So this has automatic formatting using Clang format. It has uh, IntelliSense with Clang Tidy. Um, it uses full C++20. I can demo like here, let me set a breakpoint in the test and you can actually just debug. Um, and you'll notice it'll hit that breakpoint. There you go. You can step through <coughs> and that's lovely. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just really cool. I encourage everyone to, uh, try it out. Oh, and when you're in here, 
there is no, uh, the, all this code that you see over here on the left is inside a Docker container. So if you were to go into the new um, folder you made, test EOS contract in this case on your host machine, you won't see any of that code because it's all inside the Docker container that is um, connected to by VS Code. So if you want, you can just go into this artifacts directory on your host machine and this is synced with the Docker container. So when you build a contract inside the Docker container, the artifacts can be uh, seen on the host side through this artifacts directory. But that's the only directory that's going to be shared outside of the Docker container. That's for performance reasons. Um, and then you, if you want to save your <laughs> smart contract outside of just a Docker volume, then you need to, uh, you can just you know, push this to some GitHub repo or something. Um, yeah, that's it. All right. Thanks.